It's an emotional time for the Toronto Maple Leafs. It's an emotional time for a lot of us who knew a very, very special person. He was my dad's favorite goalie. In fact, Holy Mackinac, my dad would bellow after a big save. But to me, he was so much more. He was my idol. He was my hero. He was everything I wanted to be. The greatest goalkeeper in the history of my favorite team and, dare I say, the entire NHL. I put Johnny Bauer on a pedestal that no mortal could have ever lived up to. Then years later, when my dream of playing like Bauer had been burst, I got to meet my idol, my hero, face to face. And I quickly realized I hadn't put him on a high enough pedestal. Johnny Bauer was easily the nicest, most gracious, most humble man I ever met. Oh yeah, he was also a Hall of Fame goaltender. He was so generous with his time and encouragement for a young broadcaster trying to make his way in the NHL. We we very quickly became friends, and I certainly wasn't alone. Johnny was friends with everyone. He was loved by all who came into contact with him. Always time for an autograph, a photo, and a story. In his later years, young kids would rush to say hello and ask for a signature. They never saw Johnny Bauer play, but their fathers or their grandfathers had, and the youngsters knew they were in the presence of greatness. We lost Johnny Bauer this week. We had him with us for 93 years, and we will cherish every memory he produced over that span, whether it was on or off the ice. No member of the Toronto Maple Leafs enjoying its 100th year of existence was as beloved as John Bauer. This Tuesday, he'll be eulogized before the Leafs game with Tampa. He'll receive the loudest and the longest ovation in the history of the franchise because Johnny Bauer touched every Maple Leaf fan's heart. Rest easy, my friend. You're gone, but you will never be forgotten.